Good evening, vampires, werewolves, and all other nocturnal beings. Welcome to Titties by Night, a Vampire the Masquerade actual play run entirely by creatures of marginalized genders and presented by Tabletop Titties. My name is Kelly, my pronouns are they, them, and I will be your storyteller for tonight. But before we get into the episode, uh, oh, what? Did someone move? Oh, someone moved. Oh, right, one sec. Wait, it's okay. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Because I set up my overlay. So, oh, no, never mind. One sec. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh never mind. Okay, one sec. I'm here, but it doesn't look like I'm here. F Hi, it. everybody. Okay, we're going to go back. Okay, wait. This was a false start, y'all. We're going to go back to tech. And uh, we'll, we'll be Bye right back. back. We'll be Bye right back. back. Take two. Crack. Good Crack. evening, vampires, werewolves, and all other nocturnal beings. Welcome to Titties by Night, a Vampire the Masquerade actual play run entirely by creatures of marginalized genders and presented by tabletop titties very well, I might add. My name is mm. Kelly. My pronouns are they, them, and I will be your storyteller for tonight. <laughs> but first, before we get into this episode, we want to acknowledge the colonial history of Canada and how Canada has and continues to take from Indigenous people. The effects of colonization are still felt to this day, and we acknowledge that this episode is being recorded on the stolen lands of the Anishinaabe, Chippewa, Haudenosaunee, Wendat, Apache, Musqueam, Squamish, tsleil Coast Salish, and Cheyenne First Nations. If you would like to know more about the effects of colonization and support some indigenous charities and organizations, you can go to the resources page on our website at tabletoptitties.com slash resources. With me... I am once again joined by the entirety of the investigators of the occult and unusual. Hello, everybody. I am Charlene Bear. I go by Char. My pronouns are she, they. And this evening, I will be playing Octavia Miller, the Tremere, whose pronouns are she, her. Hello, hello, everyone. My name is Rachel Thelade. My pronouns are she, her, and I once again will be playing Evelyn Stormloft, the Nosferatu, whose pronouns are also she, her. Hi, I'm Casper. Uh, my pronouns are they, them. I am playing Belgium Jerry, the gangrel uh, himbo. <laughs> <laughs> Whose pronouns are he, him? Nice. Hello, my name is Emily Matchett. My pronouns are she, her, and I play Imogen White, the salubri. Whose pronouns are also she, her? Hi, I'm Dare. Pronouns she, they, fey. I am your resident troublemaker who's done nothing wrong, who's playing Leon Cavallo, pronouns they, he, uh, he, they, either way, uh, it's fine. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to be up to completely all innocence, nothing bad. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> Ever. Uh <laughs> Well, We'd love to nice. thank our sponsors for this season. Uh, Inspire to Create, a space that you can be proud of at Inspire to Create Shop, a small Canadian business supporting and sourcing their materials from other small Canadian businesses. They have everything to make your space as cool and nerdy as possible. They have cheeky and funny decals to personalize your walls and cars and dishwasher safe mugs sporting your favorite class for when you come out of a long rest. Roll for initiative with Inspire to Create's Dice Towers and get one for yourself using our code Titties by Night for a discount at Inspire, the number two create shop on Etsy. And I think we're, we're running a giveaway with them right now, aren't we? We are. Mm. Yes, so, yes. Go check that out on our socials. I think it's winning a decal and a mug. Yeah, I of believe. your choice. I have a mug of your choice. And a decal of your choice. Of your choice. You get both. You get of to your choice. design. What socials? No, and... I did it wrong in the chat. <laughs> socials. <laughs> go enter right now. That's us. No, that's wrong. Oh, I mean, the first one's there. Tabletop Titties Twitter. Yeah, go, yeah. go, go enter. And if you one. if you enter on both Instagram and Twitter, you get ten extra entries. Just Ooh. saying, it's pretty I wish good. I could it's enter, so easy to I enter. Ooh. And I have to say something for you, M. We were making fun of you for saying decals, but the I... creator also says decals, which means I think I that, that both of them are interchangeable. So I'm very sorry, Emily. You've been saying it correctly. Thank you. 
I saw that on her Instagram story and I was like, wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to keep on saying decals, but decals is coming from now on. <laughs> uh, I'm done now. Is, Please move on. What is happening? Um, hey, y'all, we're using Sirenscape to make our... Uh, our streams atmospheric and possibly spooky and very Victorian. Um, and uh, you can use it too. It is free. It can uh, You can play locally if you're playing at home now, or you can continue to play on stream uh, if you're like us and never go outside because there's a deadly plague. Um, we are also using Critical Role's new album, Welcome to Teldore, because when they released it, they allowed all streamers to use it as long as they do what I'm doing right now which is mentioned that we're using it. So go check it out. Uh, if you're a fan of Critical Role like I am, you will hopefully appreciate the noises that are about to hit your, your head hole in the next two or so hours. Head hole? What is head. that? I don't know. One <laughs> of the holes in your head. These? <laughs> oh, boy. These? E empty head. I mean, listen, if you can smell the music. There. Someone else talks after me. Yeah, right? I guess I'll do my <laughs> Twitch shout out now. Um, hey, all, we're gonna. I don't know what's going on today. We're in a. There's a mood in the air. Um, we say that every week. It's just the show. It's, yeah. it's just <laughs> us. This is the one. We just have to admit this is just us. <laughs> um, but you know what? Regardless of if it's just us or the show or whatever, uh, we're gonna shout out our buds over at the Nat Thirties because they are amazing and awesome, uh, and we love them. Uh, the Nat 30s are a group of tabletop gamers in their beautiful all natural 30s for now, playing role playing games live on Twitch, now hosted over at the Compound Network, a collaboration of South Coast Massachusetts creatives who want to bring the joy of gaming to all. Join the Bums of Green Nest on Sundays at 4 p.m. Eastern as they attempt to stop the cult of the dragon from raising Tiamat from her prison in the Nine Hells, in the long-running Tyranny of the Dragons campaign. On Midnight Mondays, the Compound Network hosts The Midnight World, a horror-themed tabletop RPG by Gemini Studios, currently in early release. The ticking of the clock and the impending sense of dread define this role-play-heavy game system. They invite you to come run a game, play in a game, or even just suggest concepts for their next horror story. Their con the Compound hosts several other streams throughout the week as well. Some run by play and played or uh, run or played by members of the Nat 30s. So absolutely go and check them out over on the Compound Network because they are cool and we love them. Like I said before, <laughs> I'm done. That's it. <laughs> Uh, you know who else we love? Ourselves! If you're watching and maybe you love us too, you want to support the titties, you can do that by using a Twitch subscription, which allows you to use the fancy emotes that are currently in chat right now. You want Marge? You want Marguerite? You got them! Just subscribe. Um, it's really helpful. And if you have Amazon Prime, you get one free Twitch sub every month. So make sure you renew and support the titty committee. <clears throat> oh man you know i'm glad about this energy um because uh <laughs> the uh possible triggers for this episode uh disregard for human life transformation general vampire stuff bees and body horror if any of those bees? things bother you <laughs> bees? Bees? bees uh you know what this you know what tabletop titties has been missing bees um yeah so bee emote <laughs> If any of those things bother you, uh, feel free to step away and uh, take a moment, compose yourself and come back or catch the VOD or come back uh, next episode and there will be a previously on to catch you up. Speaking of, previously on Titties by Night, Evelyn tended to her new vampire child, childer, uh, as he deformed and committed uh, to get strong enough for his sire. Uh, William has been trying to recreate Evelyn's hunting style, but it has been messy. Jerry concluded his investigation at the Chantry and met up with Evelyn to catch some rumors uh, at local bars. This also went messy. Meanwhile, at the Palace Theater, Leon and Imogen prepared for their performance with Melinda Moore. Imogen was nervous and needed some motivation from Melinda, and then real motivation from Leon. The performance then went surprisingly well, so much so that the two received fame from the local kindred and a night of schmoozing with rich folk. 
The next night, the crew split up to continue their investigation. Evelyn convinced an old member of her crew to defect from Danita and join her once more. Jerry went to fight in the docks, and Imogen and uh, Leon went to the feeding pit to get a premonition from the Malkavian Primogen. It was messy. Now, <laughs> we join you all on the uh, fourth night uh, before the human culling. And uh, I'm going to need those of you uh, who wish to... Um, actually, give me a rouse check first. All, all if, the if vampires. We, if, if we wish to, right? That's what no, you said? That was, <laughs> that was a different train of thought. Eight! Nice. I didn't do good. Ooh. I didn't do it. I'm a hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, a four. Mm -hmm. I passed. Nice. Um, I I I did I did an, a not a not pass. All right. <laughs> um, Evelyn, Leon, and uh, Imogen, as you arise this night, um, you are filled, uh, uh, with the overwhelming feeling of hunger, as you each gain one hunger dice. Um. Now, Octavia, you didn't get a chance to do your aggravated damage last episode, but if you wanted to, you could try to heal that now from the night before. Yes, I would love to do so. And then we'll cover Let's everyone else's. Let's do my three dice. I shit you not, I failed on all of them. No. <laughs> so I will have four hunger now. Nice. <laughs> Uh, but you do heal one more aggravated. Um, Which is really what I need, so that's good. Yeah. Also, just give me a quick uh, da, 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 um, composure and animal can. I'm getting all of the numbers out of the way so that we can decide how everyone's looking for the, re the rest of this mm, episode. Fair. Uh, what animal is this for? Uh, it's up to you. Whatever you fed on yesterday. Oh, okay. Then I'll give myself the extra, and it'll be some rats. Nice. Mm -hmm. And I got two tens. One, two, three, four, five successes. Okay. Uh, so we'll say that you managed, uh, you're probably hanging out with Rita and uh, managed to maintain your hunger. So we'll say that you just have uh, two hunger uh, today. All right. Now, everybody else who has any remaining aggravated damage may attempt to heal it if they wish by doing three rouses. Um. Hmm. All right, I failed one, but the other two were were good. All right, that's good. Just one more, one more hunger, one less aggravated. One more, yeah, three hunger is manageable. Uh, anybody yeah, else? That's what. That's what I'm at. <laughs> is three already? <laughs> uh, I don't. You got uh... this. You got this. You got this. And Octavia, what are you gonna do? <laughs> how's your aggravated doing? I have two right now. All right, so it's up do, to you. Do I have Do I have to roll them all at once, or can I roll one? And if I fail, I go nope. No, you gotta do all, all three at them at once. I'll do it. There's a chance I'll frenzy though. <laughs> There's a chance I'll frenzy. This lock time I passed all of the them. Other, I lock both of them in the rooms. <laughs> <laughs> Get it over with. <laughs> Actually, no. <laughs> Don't lock them in the rooms. Just have me sit in the middle. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Ah, I'm scared. Good luck. I passed two. Nice. That's good. That's why uh, I'm at yeah. four hunger. Ooh. Everyone's looking good. Um, Leon, you're you're still just great, aren't you? Oh yeah, no, I don't. I simply avoid any situation which I can give you a hurt. That's fair. <laughs> uh, and J Jerry, how are you looking? I ain't been in a proper fight in a good long minute, so I'm fine. That's fair. Just fought a mutated werewolf. No big. Um, it was all a right. while ago. So these are all of the numbers that you're sitting on for night four. Um, you have uh, not too many nights left. Uh, so what is the strategy. You've all come back to the IOU. You're in the office. And what is your plan for night four? Well, 
um, first things first, Octavia, you were at the Chantry Hall of last evening. Did you find out anything else that we need to know about? Uh, yes, I can confirm the location of Albrecht. Um, definitely in the sewers, probably, I think, under Tanita's not control but definitely trapped there um i felt when i was in my vision something wooden and hard around my midsection as i mm. was him um and i did hear her telltale sign of bees um and the ravnos the the other main thing i found were that perhaps the ravnos that are assisting here were from the carnival and connected in some way to the actual dracula Oh, fascinating. Do you think this was perhaps targeted because we set their carnival on fire? It couldn't possibly <laughs> be that. <laughs> I mean, we did oh, no. set their carnival on fire. I have so. no memory of these events. <laughs> <laughs> perhaps it's for the best. Um, if you are able to forget, maybe perhaps I am too. Isn't that right, Leon? <laughs> Um, I have no idea what on earth you're talking about. Uh, exactly. 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 A trouble but... never follows me. Oh, yes. Of course. What are you all talking about? We set their car oh, on fire. My... <laughs> no, it's fine. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> but, the... but that's something that we did. All right. <laughs> um, <laughs> perhaps it's, it's best I... sometimes to... I know we always say it's good to confront your problems, but perhaps sometimes the opposite is also perhaps the best. <laughs> Depends on the circumstance. Right. Okay, so... No, I've never even been to the carnival. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> she winks. <laughs> um, well. <laughs> so... Uh... Travis is out today. Um, he's been trying to gather information for you um, during the daytime, which is kind of like messed with his sleep schedule a little bit. He got accustomed <laughs> to not sleeping uh, at night and is mm -hmm. now sort of messed with it a bit. Um, uh -oh. But uh, there is a uh, sealed letter sitting on the de his usual desk. Well, Imogen, you should open it. What if there's something private? <laughs> <laughs> then we're not going to open it if it's his. Is it addressed to some? Is it addressed to somebody, or is it just like a sealed envelope? Uh, it's just a sealed envelope. Okay. What if it's a love letter? I mean, it's probably very important information that we need. But what if it's a love letter? I don't want to read it. It's yours. If it was a letter like that, don't you think he would? address it to me on the Just outside. Just open it. <laughs> I am rather uncomfortable opening someone else's mail. It could be private. I, uh, I go over and open it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jerry, you tear open this envelope and within uh, this note, it is obviously left by Travis. Um, and uh, there's a lot of spelling mistakes. Uh, but the general gist of it is that he has... Uh, attempted to uh, communicate with uh, Sam, uh, who he recognized seeing a few months ago coming into the office um, and has been attempting to find them. Um, however, it seems that uh, he has not been lucky enough to do so. No. What? Well, so it's not a love letter. Um, okay. He, nah, is enjoy he is enjoying Carmilla, though. He looked in the book or gave him. Uh, but he's also looking for this Sam bloke. Um, I ain't found him yet, but... Uh... Did he look at the hostel? That's like the only place they would be. Octavia, oh. have you been receiving Sam as who gives you your blood vials, uh, yes? No, that's Aiden. Or is that someone else? Oh, Sam okay. is the, yes. the newsy child. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, you got one of them oh, too? Right. I do. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but very strange. I, of course, haven't had the chance to speak with them in quite some time. Uh, I don't know whether or not to be worried. Yes. yes. You also well, haven't been getting this... blood from 
uh, Aiden recently. Mm -hmm. Okay. The, I, that makes more sense because the IOU look like crap. So. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, perhaps after all this is settled, we can check on our own and make sure everybody is safe. Agreed. So what's the now, plan? Do we... I do have a meeting scheduled with a couple possible defectors of Tanita's gang. Formerly my gang. Jerry. Oh, that sounds interesting. Yes, I thought you might be interested. I was hoping you would accompany me to this meeting. Uh, obviously, I am hoping everything goes well, as that might be a, a, more people to help us when the going gets tough and we must take on Tanita and Albert. But if they are planning to double-cross me, I would appreciate someone at my side to help me straighten them up. Well, I miss that man, it'd be an honor. Wonderful. Of course, if ever anybody else wants to join, it's obviously an open invitation, but if there are other things we must organize before we locate Albrecht, perhaps it is best we split up once again and then meet up to finish the job. Where were you going to be meeting these folk? In our usual spot, we have a hideout in the sewers, but further away from the prison. Mm. Seems It seemed to be abandoned before, because obviously Tanita would not want me finding them. The minute you say sewers, Jerry starts taking off his vest and is going to try and hang it up and be like, yep. Well, well, darling, you don't, you don't have to swim. You really don't have to go neck deep, I promise you. <laughs> no, no, it's not that. It's just, it's my nice vest, and if I'm going to get dirty, rather keep it nice. Belt and Jerry just full chip and dailing it right now. Yeah, uh, yeah, 100%. <laughs> Is the bow tie still on? Yes. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> With an where I, I thought that I found myself as Albrecht, it did smell quite awful, which is why I was asking. Mm. I'm just worried that he might, you might run into him. Well, I hope not. I have been down to that area of the sewer a few times. Recently. Since... Oh, my apologies. Yes. You, you, you hope we don't run into him? Not yet. I want to be Everything ready Everything has their time, yes. All right. If they have a plan going and Albrecht is involved somehow, I want to know about it. Could just kill him. <laughs> oh, we might get to that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you're going to head off down to the sewer HQ then with uh, Jerry? Uh, yes, I believe. Unless anybody else wants to come, I assume nobody else would want to come. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Before you go, mm -hmm. um, Octavia's going to take out two small vials. Um, and they're actually like different than the vials she normally uses, which are like, you know, two inches long. These ones are really small, kind of orbish with a little cork. Uh, mm. And she just pricks her thumb um, and puts a drop of blood in each of those little vials. And she's going to give one to both uh, Evelyn and Jerry. Um, if you do run into Albrecht or anyone that you might think needs a bit of damage done to them, um, just make sure you get a bit of my blood on them, please. I'll be able to do some work within the hour. Wonderful. That doesn't seem sporting. <laughs> <laughs> the Tremere never are. You're reminded Sometimes of Sebastian. Found that out. <laughs> Sometimes neither are our enemies, so it seems fair. I um I hand mine to Evelyn. Hey, uh, Evie. <laughs> yes. Here you go. Suit yourself. <laughs> fair fight. <laughs> well, shall we? Well, after you. I will show Jerry to where we are headed and, uh, since I know my way and he does not <laughs> not to a damn clue head down uh, through your quarters uh, into the sewers um, 
Jerry, this is the first time you've been down here. Uh, it's oddly quiet right now, other than the faint dripping uh, around you. And you can hear the echoes of skittering of rats uh, <coughs> through the halls. Um, and Evelyn leads you along this path in the sewers, uh, very dimly lit, um, almost completely uh, pitch black. And it eventually it winds and serpentines and labyrinthines uh, until you hit this opening where almost like a bay of the sewage uh, meets this hollowed out headquarters. Um, and you see off in the distance from the uh, moonlight that's sort of shining through the grates and stuff, uh, in the corner of this room is just a cloth and blood and bone amalgam nest uh, that has formed. Uh, and you can hear a faint breathing coming from within inside. Uh, yes, okay, so <laughs> don't worry. That's nothing to be concerned about. Um, I will go over and uh, I guess wake him up since we're going to be meeting people. <laughs> <laughs> we have guests. Yes. Uh, Clean yourself up. <laughs> Clean your room. It's a mess in here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as you as you walk up to his nest, uh, you find the like opening that he's uh, been using, and there's just like viscera leading inside, and it is this slick red tunnel now, uh, leading mm -hmm. into this this hole, uh, and you see two glints uh, staring back at you, and a pained hollow breathing. How are you feeling this evening? Uh, Any tired, better? Mom. Uh, well, that is normal. The change today has been faint, but I am exhausted from... Yes. Uh, you've brought someone... Yes, this is Elgin Jerry. This is William. I don't know if you met him before he changed. Did he? Did did Belgium Jerry meet William beforehand? I don't know if he did. I don't think so. No. Okay. Then, um, yeah, he'll be like, "Well, this is my child." <laughs> William, I have come to inform you that we are meeting with some individuals this evening, and I told them to meet us here. Or they suggested it, actually. It is possible defectors of Tanita's gang. <gasps> no. Control yourself, William. They betrayed you, Mom. I must kill them all. And if they are going to betray Tanita and help me kill her, I will take their help. I want to hear what they have to say. Why Boy. do you think I why do you think I brought Jerry with me? If they're going to try anything funny, we will take care of it here and now. Well, William, I I like where your head's at. Um <laughs> we'll hear them out first, and then if we don't like what they say, you and me can tag team. I will do as my sire says. And if you've brought help, that is better. Also, everyone's really jittery on my side for some reason. I was going to say everyone Same. is frozen on on my end, yeah, except for myself. Frozen. Okay. Oh, well, yeah. what's happening? At least it's <laughs> Zoom We're then. Yeah, I, it's I had to close. Zoom. I closed Twitch because I was like, "Oh, my laptop can't run my audio <laughs> and everything else." But now it seems no, I like think, I think it's everyone. Yeah, yeah. at least yeah. we're all oh, in this oh, together. Oh, we're back. Well, uh, uh, hey, we're back for Hello, me. everyone. Oh boy, yep, same. Yeah, I'm back. If it keeps Zoom, happening, maybe I'll it's maybe strange. I'll start like a new uh, call. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. It seems better now, so we're good. That was weird. 
That yeah. was weird. We literally everyone. I was like, I'm moving fine, <laughs> but everybody else froze. <laughs> um, so the three of you wait down here uh, for a while until um, off in the distance. Can I post up in the? Sorry, can I post up in the shadow so like I'm not seen? Sure. Ooh, I want to yeah, be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to be. I want to surprise them like a jack in a box. Give me a uh, <laughs> dexterity and stealth, please. Oh crud. <laughs> Unless you have um, <laughs> obfuscate powers, which I don't think you do. No. I know. I'm a walking tank. Um, <laughs> well, I can eventually get things that can give you all things, but I haven't gotten that yet. So You you said dexterity and stealth? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see what these three die are going to give me. <laughs> Two successes. All right. Um, Two out of three. You sort of drax it into the corner where you're <laughs> covered in darkness, not moving. What a fall. That's, that's, I'm that's about it. <laughs> uh, it's yeah. not great, Evelyn. <laughs> no. But He's it, might, his best. <laughs> it might take them, like, if people are focused on you and this meat nest that is forming, then, uh, you know, they might not immediately catch the giant man hiding in the corner. <laughs> True. They don't know that William has been turned yet, which might uh, be a conversation. <laughs> um, while we're waiting, I will activate Daunt, just to maybe draw more attention my way. All right. Sounds good. Um, and you begin to hear, after some time, the sound of footsteps uh, echoing I, through I the place, I place sewers. my uh, sword cane like directly in front of me and kind of rest my hands on it just Ooh. expectantly. Nice. Uh, and you begin to see members of your old gang trickling in. Uh, you see the familiar uh, red hair and freckled skin of uh, Amber McMillan. Uh, you see the cricket bat wielding just messed up ghoul of uh, Camilla Foster. Um, you see this very like thin, calm figure uh, following behind that you recognize as Jean Paul, uh, one of the actual Nosferatu on your on your squad. Um, mm -hmm. You see several members of your gang have have joined. Definitely not the majority of them. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And following behind, seeming a bit not out of it, but sort of aloof and seemingly naive, uh, is Leon, the le <laughs> the lesser. Oh my god! <laughs> 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 Leon. Oh uh, goodness! In the midst I was of... like, "Who's this?" <laughs> <laughs> in the midst of all of these, like dirty and disheveled and like crooked physically members of your gang you see this like straight backed uh well dressed uh blonde hair um this man, pretty himbo walking walking <laughs> up just with the glassiest stare you have ever seen mm -hmm. um, how how tall is this guy uh he's like you know decent like six, about like getting close to 6 feet more direct question can i fit his clothes uh he's <laughs> oh, he's no. he's more wiry than he is jacked yeah, so you might you might tear jacked. some seams he's a he's that's boy. fine that's fine i might need a new vest that's fair <laughs> uh and as um as the members of your gang trickle in uh we're gonna hop back to uh upstairs for a moment mm -hmm. um so, Octavia, you feel the presence of kindred in the sewers. You can feel this, like, almost like wave of energy coming towards you. Uh, and you feel this pocket of Nosferatu and ghouls just existing underneath you as you, uh, you figure that Evelyn's gang have probably joined. And um, what specifically are, which the three of you like to investigate? You have the whole night uh, 
We don't have to do a full scene if you just want to gather information, but I want to give you an opportunity to um, gather any more information before whatever happens, happens. I would love to investigate um, some 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 food for myself. <laughs> Fair. Uh, is anyone I, I, going yeah. to uh, chaperone <laughs> Imogen? <laughs> I, 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 she hungry. She getting um, dangerously close to scary hungry. If Imogen would like some someone to accompany her, uh, I am willing to do so. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, and Echo. Octavia. I um I would go with Imogen as well because the two of us I mean we're typical you know vermin eaters, um but also I just had a thought that there might be another witness to what happened here, the folks from the other side, hmm. who I keep promising I will help and <laughs> now I will ask call on them for help before <laughs> this is like once again. Um, you would know, you would know not only from your experiences recently, um, that you can, you guys could go to a butcher, you guys could go to, you know, stables and stuff and hunt there. Um, but also you know that there's, uh, pretty good stables and butchers near the Giovanni estate, um, a group that you would probably need to talk to to be able to communicate with the other side. Mm. Two birds, one stone. If we want to head over to, um, I believe it's Miller's Butchery. Nice. Is that any relation? I'm Octavia Smith. What do you mean? Mm. <laughs> we changed the overlay. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. Um, all right. I'll need uh, um, whoever is hunting for... Um, Animals, uh, give me a composure and animal can as you head off uh, near the district where the Giovanni State is located. All right, all four, hunger, die, let's go. Oh, boy. Heck, oh, wait, yeah. no, I do have a specialty, though, if we're a specialty for my... You could, you could like, try yeah. to rouse the blood if you want to get some extra... <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> three successes One, for me. Two, mm. three... Also three successes. Ooh. Um, <laughs> so Leon, you see uh, as the two of them, uh, you can take the carriage over there. Uh, you make your way near the Giovanni estate. The two of them go to the Miller uh, butcher uh, and you hear sounds of uh, feeding inside. <laughs> um, I think Leon just makes several faces at a... <laughs> just... All of it. It sounds so inelegant. Yeah. yeah. Do you need anything? Would you like us to bring you some? I legally don't eat anything that makes less than a hundred k a year. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, Victorian <laughs> Elon Musk. Yay! <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, Elon <laughs> eat the rich. <laughs> Elon's a comic. Good. Yeah, I only eat. I only eat the queen. Thank you very much. Um, uh, now, question. Question for the two hunters: uh, Are you going to go down to No Hunger? Sure. All right. I mean, I, I yeah, as much as I can. All right. I mean, it'll oh, be a couple. Yeah. It'll be a couple. So it'll be a. You guys, uh, the butcher's going to have some questions in the morning, but um, that's fine. Oh, Don't worry about it. You are satisfied and. Uh, Head off to the Giovanni estate. We can only go down to, to, to one, though, not actually zero, right? Correct? Thank you. Thanks. Yes, that is okay. true. <gasps> I knew a rule. Yeah. Thanks. We're I... the... You did it. We're the <laughs> animal user. You're tonight. gaming. <laughs> I mean, yeah, on a, I, like, I forgot it. about that. That's all you get for the whole season. I'm not knowing any other rules. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I'm, not, I, I'm proud. Don't worry. Um, Gold star. Uh, as you head up to the Giovanni State, uh, it is um, surprisingly active. You see several of the room's uh, faint uh, lights have been lit, uh, and it seems that a lot of the, the clan have, similar in the way to the Tremere, sort of um, secluded themselves during the what's going on. Um, uh, do you make your presence known? Hello, 
I've come to call for one of my boons. <laughs> it is Octavia. <laughs> uh, you see um, Valentina uh, and Angelo Giovanni, um, both of them very monochromatic and uh, tall, menacing figures. Um, Angelo has looks like he's seen better days. Um, you recognize uh, the appearance of a vampire who is not fed in a while. Um, but uh, Valentina similarly hasn't fed in a while, but seems to be holding it together a little better. Um, and Valentina sort of straightens up and says, oh, I uh, didn't expect... Um, I didn't expect to see you all so soon. Uh, has the... The prince called another boon, or is it personal? No, this one's personal. Excellent. Um, uh, Angelo, my dear, um, uh, fetch us a, a empty room. Um, and, uh, Leon, you're, you're part of the investigators now. Absolutely. Uh, that come shocking to you? No, I I simply thought once the deed was done, you'd venture off back to one of your states. Um, I, I can do both. Of course. <laughs> uh, and uh, Imogen, it's, it's nice to see you again. Um, and she's... She seems off. Uh, and eventually Angelo comes and retrieves her, and she leads you off to uh, one of the rooms um, and they light a small lamp. Usually the Giovannis have it very dim in this area, but for guests, they have uh, lit the room a bit more. Uh, Before we move forward, I'm going to scry her soul. Ooh! Ooh. Why, what is up with you? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Give me a rouse first. Da -da. That's a 10, baby. Oh, so ready. Mm. Uh, then give me an int and aspects, if you would. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four successes. You push out uh, and draw uh, onto her spirit. Um, and you feel little resistance. Uh, the the shell that is uh, Valentina at this moment is lacking the uh, tenacity of the beast um, as it usually is. And you can ask two questions. Um, what is has it affected her so deeply? What's weighing on her right now? Uh, you draw in closer. Um, and you sense that plans that she has been making for a while have recently um, not come to fruition and have, in fact, uh, shattered. Um, and also, I want to know if she has anything to do with what happened at the IOU. <laughs> mm. Give you this. Everyone fucking hates us. <laughs> mm -hmm. Everyone's <laughs> involved. She did not specifically have anything to do with what happened at the IOU, but the effects of what happened at the IOU, um, she had made deals after the fact, benefiting based on what had happened. And that's what's falling apart now. I see, I see. <laughs> Somebody bet we were all dead. No, it was like, oh shit. <laughs> it's all my, my money. <laughs> um, and she has gathered you all to this room and says, um, oh, what is, what is it that I can uh, help you with? Has there been development in your, your predicament? Yes, well, I was just thinking, you know, with everything that the prince was needing from us and all the assistance, there must have been someone else that was a witness to the events that occurred at the 
I owe you itself, and I would like you to help me, to help us converse with them. Um, yes, yes, I, 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 if, if, turning in your boon, of course. Yeah, I, I, I will assist, yes. Are you all right? Um, the, uh, the events that have occurred recently, the, the, the prince was not too excited on how I had handled our arrangement to retrieve your bodies and has mm -hmm. not allowed myself or the rest of my clan to feed for some time. I see. Well, this is quite a predicament for myself then at this point, isn't it? I will... I will do my best, but... Perhaps... Hmm. perhaps and sort of like looks at the three of you if the prince doesn't know perhaps you could donate donate what <laughs> <laughs> just like the longest like real, just like <sighs> I w wish to feed my dear and I have been forbidden from feeding outside of this estate and as you may know a lot of us are reaching a point of starvation but the three of you look quite well fed I am always willing to help out a friend uh, and I'm gonna um, unbutton my long sleeves and pull back my uh, blue overcoat and um, I definitely would love to start a blood bond and benefit of me <laughs> for yeah, uh, uh -huh. <laughs> uh, how how much will you allow her to have? She's in no physical state to determine that for you. Yeah, I'm gonna give her two dots. All right. Uh, she like begins to feed deep, and you can see like if vampires could salivate, uh, Angelo next to her is sort of, like, watching, um, oh, oh, a bit no. jealously, and then, like, looks at, looks between Leon and Imogen, almost, like, pleading. All right, all right. Begging is quite unbecoming, <laughs> but I will offer a slight amount of blood. Uh, and he kind of, like, stumbles over to you, and... In any other situation, this man is very, like, in charge and uh, upholds this regality that he may or may not own. But at this point, you see just someone, like, stumbling their way towards you uh, and grabs your arm and sort of, like, looks up at you and begins to feed. Uh, how much do you wish to give him? Uh, I, look, I'm already at two. I'm going to give up one. All right. Um, uh he... Also, can I get like a coat out of this? Because like they do have cool clothes. The, 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 style, the, the style whips. Like, I've been thinking about. Oh it. my god! Very uh, Adam. Leon and yes. Jerry have the same idea. <laughs> we just go about it very different way. Sharing the same ground, brain cells. Just like love yo, it. I like your jacket. <laughs> Give it to me. Um, both of them feel like. Even that small amount, you can see almost like blinking away the, the hunger. And uh, Angelo kind of looks at you and like uh, cleans up the the wound, and says, "This may have been the first time we met, but you are welcome to anything in our estate." Including his your wardrobe dick. because that. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'm like, the was there. I was not just the only one you're that not wrong it. For, you're No, not you're wrong just the first one energy. who said it. Yeah. I Listen. Just, I wasn't expecting it to be you. I said it honestly. Yeah. I never said how his pocket square was folded uh, in this scene, so. <laughs> 
if, if I could have maybe one of your honestly incredible jackets, I do adore the fashion sense you all have here. Of course, of course. Oh, Leon Cavallo, by the way, nice to meet you. Uh, I have more in, in my quarters. Uh, follow me. This isn't helping my case. <laughs> um, and as as he does that, uh, Valentina again, sort of like, almost like shaking awake, looks up and says, "Thank you, uh, thank you, Octavia. Uh, you may not be part of our clan, but a kindred spirit nonetheless." Um, you. Don't that honestly it, makes me respect her a little bit more. <laughs> uh, you don't feel blood bonded. You don't feel that his, a blood bond has occurred. <clears throat> um, and uh, she says, uh, bring me to the, the IOU uh, quickly before the prince sees us. By all means, we'll just wait for Leon to come back. Of, of course. Um, Leon, as, uh, Angelo is leading you through the estate, you can see, uh, through some of the rooms, just like, not dead, but just nearly passed out, uh, kindred who are, again, on the, on the cusp of torpor from lack of feeding. Uh, and he leads you to, um, their quarters and opens up one of the um, dressers, what are they called? Armoires? Uh, mm -hmm. And you see a collection of, of similar monochromatic uh, jackets ranging from light gray to black. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to go with the black jacket. Uh, but like, while Leon is absolutely like, trying, like, making sure that they, they look, trying to find one that's not re gonna require alterations because that's too much work. Um, absolutely, it's just a, um, so I take it that your entire clan suffering from your actions? Yes, um, the prince has not seen kindness upon our clan. Uh, he has I... said that for However long he sees fit, we are not to feed. That... I, I am not... That that statement maybe sounded like I was casting judgment upon all of you, and I would like to make that clear that it, it is not, uh, because that's not the fault of people minding... simply minding their own, and I do feel for that. I've never been the best at uh, clan loyalty or most forms of loyalty, I'll be honest. But if there's anything that I could provide, whether that be uh, maybe trying to lead people to some sort of soiree here, maybe that could help. Give me a charisma and persuasion. You That's can, quite a good idea. You can That's add your solid. fame. Oh, yeah. Ooh. I'm gonna live forever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, charisma and persuasion. You said plus two fame. That's many things for me. Let me <laughs> let me get all of them together. Oh, boy, you can't you can't keep letting me do things that involve <laughs> talking to people. It's not. I can't. I can't count. Too many maths. Too many. Oh man, oh, my wallet man. is too tight, and my diamond shoes don't fit. <laughs> uh, that's, that's five successes. Uh, as you say, let me know if there's anything that I can do. He like this like moment of realization passes over him, uh, and he walks over to the door of the coders and looks looks down the hallway and shuts it, and turns to you and says. You are, you are closer than any of us to possibly being able to make this request. And sort of like walks up to you and like grabs onto your arm. My wife has made terrible choices as of late. And if there's anything you can do from, from the ire of keeping her 
from the ire of the prince. She... She has been speaking to... That Nosferatu. The one... The one planning to enact the calling. They were going to make a deal. A, a calling of such magnitude. It could send so many souls to the afterlife, and... Valentina, with all... all of her good intentions, wished to capitalize and claim those souls for herself. The prince knows. That is why he's doing this. If there is any word that you can put forward to him to release us from this curse, please. She does not deserve to suffer. I have... On my honor as Leon Kavala, I will see what I can do. Because it isn't fair that your entire clan is suffering for these actions. But maybe your wife maybe needs to have a bit of time to think about the impact of her actions as well. Yes. She's kind of like looks around. Our clan works differently than you may be used to. The matriarch. She has free reign. And though I love her, I do not agree with the choices that she has made recently. I will do my best to see that she learns from this lesson. Yes. Uh, blind ambition, as powerful as it may be, and as motivating as it may be, it still can lead to ruin. And I am deeply worried for what can become of all of you. So, I will see what what word, what power my word has for you. Thank you. I promise. Thank you. Uh, and he kind of like uh, breathes a sigh of relief and turns around and opens the door and leads you back to the group. And with Valentina in tow, returning to the IOU, uh, the location of the meeting place of Evelyn's uh, defected gang, uh, we're going to go on break. Oh boy. Woo! Oh boy. So much stuff is happening. Be right back. <laughs> BRB. <laughs> Good morrow, fine patron. Are you looking for music for your character, campaign, or Twitch stream? Does music move you like prune juice after a colonic? Well, here at OBP Musical, we write music from any genre, from fully orchestrated pieces like this... ...to video game auditory herpes like this... We have singers from Les Miserables and Disney for vocals like this. The heroes of the north, with them we'll sally forth. The warrior knight, the maiden of earth. Have a bard that's written lyrics? We can write music for them. So, if you want music that rocks, come to us at OBP Musical and get your rocks off. That sounded weird. Music and songs from any genre, from opera to country, pop to thrash metal. We are jacks of all trades. OBP Musical, music for any occasion. Birthdays, weddings, having a bris. We've got you covered when others don't. Go to obpmusical.com for more info. Have you heard of pinupcanada.com? This fantastic Vancouver local shop offers the best selection of pinup clothing right to your door. With inclusive sizes ranging from extra small to 6X, each item has been handpicked and carefully curated by owner and former pinup model Jen Kaboom. At pinupcanada.com, you can find retro swing skirts, dick-shaped soap, 
vampy wiggle dresses, glorious purses, and more. Seriously, at least half of my wardrobe is from this amazing independently owned shop, which ships Canada and US wide. Don't delay, follow them on Instagram at Pinup Canada and visit pinupcanada.com to find the perfect retro outfit and risque homewares today. I've been working on my Steve cosplay and I found the perfect piece to finish it off at the costume shop. They have wigs, costumes, contacts, and they even have a cosplay section on their website for people just like me. Head on over to thecostumeshop.com forward slash question mark R E F equal sign tabletop titties to get started. That's T H E C O S T U M E S H O P P E dot com. Com, spelled ye old way. Make sure to use the code tabletop titties with double D's to get yourself $10 off at checkout. Maybe I should make a image in white cosplay next. We are uh, in the sewer now. Um, Evelyn, you are faced with those who have decided to come back. And as I said, it is not the majority, but it is several of the closer uh, people that you had mm-hmm. connections the with. The ones that the ones that matter. Yeah, um, exactly. The ones with names. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't think I say anything at first. I let them all gather. I have I have activated Daunt, mm. and uh, I will yeah. I will as they all gather when they finally all settle. I will kind of have a moment of silence and tension, and then I will stare at Amber and I will say, speak your piece and tell me what you know. We, uh, those of us I've brought, we sensed that something was wrong, but Tanita is very convincing. We all thought you were dead. Uh, and in like unison, you hear, we thought you were dead. We thought you were dead. Mom, it's so good to see you. Um, do I sense while this is happening that any of them are perhaps acting? Or is this a genuine reaction to seeing me? Or are they planning something? Give me a wits and awareness. Everyone take a drink. Hey. <laughs> Um, that's three. Um, you see, like genuine, like kowtowing. Like they're, they're all incredibly excited that you're back, but also embarrassed that okay. they had decided. With them. Except for Leon, who <laughs> he's just like, where the fuck am I? <laughs> seems very confused. Um, and mm-hmm. every so often you spot uh, uh, Gene, sort of like looking back at him. Uh, and you see like a faint yellow flare in his eyes uh, as he mm. just sort of like read, read seems confused. Interesting. I will keep that in mind for a moment. Uh, um, Am- Amber yeah, I'll let, I'll let Amber continue. Um, we are, oh, obviously we are once again at your service, oh, mistress. Um, whatever you need, we will be here for you, and any information that you may need, we can... And you see she, like, looks past you at the lump of <laughs> cloth and blood and meat. Uh, Mom, have you been busy down here? I have been expanding, as one must do when you are betrayed by everyone you can trust, except for one. Uh, and as you say that, almost as if choreographed, you hear uh, as the hands of William uh, reach out of the hole uh, and begin, like, cracking. And you see now the, like, hunched over figure uh, almost looks like just, like, fresh loot, like, fresh skin has been uh, shedded off. Uh, Disgusting. 
he sort of like pulls himself out uh, and straightens up and you hear similar cracks to when you straighten. Uh, mm-hmm. He like walks over and his uh, his outfit is still intact, if not entirely crimson at this point. Uh. Um, and he walks over and just like trying to keep as much as the, the pain in as possible, just stands next to you and everybody who sees him sort of like stumbles back a bit. Mm-hmm. William? Is, is that William? I, I have become something else for Mum. I have always been by her side. And those of you who watched me suffer in that cell, you want... I hold him back. I can tell he wants to go a- absolutely apeshit, and I, with Dawn, still activated, will put a stern hand on his, like, front, like, shoulder, and I will... Breathe, William. There will be time to punish those who have wronged us, but perhaps we should hear what they have to say. Uh, Tell us, what is Tanita planning? And how can we help mess up those plans? Jerry, give me a what's Boy. awareness. Son of a biscuit. Uh, what's an awareness? All three dice. <laughs> Two successes. Um, with... I did my best. <laughs> uh, you don't notice anybody like looking at you or anything. They just seem really focused on Eve- Evelyn, uh, except for this tall Adonis of a man, just like blank-eyed, staring directly at you. Uh, cool. Um, this one was Leon the Lesser, correct? Uh. I don't know if he's been introduced yet, but mm-hmm. uh, yeah, but like, and, like, so I just want to make sure this is like the right Adonis. Yeah, this is so this, this is, is Leon the Lesser. A, okay, <laughs> so the uh, the Adonis of a dude is like the guy staring. who doesn't look like he belongs here. <laughs> yeah, well, he's staring me straight up and down, and then I look at him, and I'm like, I, I, well, I dead stare him, and I look him up and down. Um, can I? Oh, I'm I really hope you're not attached to this dude. Can I rush in and like grab his head and try and squeeze it until it like pops like a cherry? Um, <laughs> yeah, you can't do that. No. Oh. no. Dang it. I mean, you can try uh, if you want. Would you're Evelyn gonna get, have told- You're gonna get clotheslined by my cane uh, if you try to do that. I mean, oh, okay. Yeah. If, I mean, if that's what you want to do, we can handle that. Uh, no, okay. Instead of grabbing his head and popping it like a cherry, uh, can I run up and get in his face? Uh, yes. You can so try, but I'm you... going to try to stop you. Uh, <laughs> all of a sudden, everybody looks over as just <laughs> uh, running up behind uh, Evelyn. Um just uh Evelyn, give yeah. me a give me a quick uh Dex and uh melee. Cool. I just want to intimidate the dude by crushing his skull. Modifications have been made to the intention. Excuse me. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. This is very good. Well, darn it. Seven. Uh, <laughs> as Leon, as you run up, uh, charging next to Evelyn, you feel your leg hook on something and just <laughs> kind of crash into the, the water, uh, and you are uh, at the foot of this man that you were charging, and he just like looks down at you, and he doesn't seem aggressive. He just seems like a blank slate, just like looking at you. One. Jerry, put, Jerry. put it, Jerry put it away. Just put your ego and strength away for a moment and leave Leon the lesser alone. Do, I will announce who he is. <laughs> we, we, 
we saw this man in the corner, but he, we thought he was with you, Mom. I uh, didn't he want is. to say anything. Oh, he is with me. Uh, Jean kind of like flicks his head at uh, Leon, who reaches down a hand at you, Jerry. Yeah, I don't take it. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'll just get up, straighten my hat, and fume. <laughs> <laughs> there will be time for a brawl. Um, Trust me. If I may, Mom, we we know that we know that Tinita does not know we are gone. Um, we, uh, we have made plans to uh, scout. We do know information that may be able to help you. Go on. Tanita has been busy while you've been gone. Um, we don't... We don't know exactly what her plans are, but she's been working with a Tremere. They've Mm. been making something. We think that she is... I think that she has attempted to work with the Camarilla for something that they want, but we don't know what it is. She won't tell us. Can Evelyn put two and two together? Uh, it depends. Can Rachel put two and two together? I mean, I, I mean, it's the cull. It's, it's the color of the humans, uh, I'm assuming. Like, yeah, that's, that seems... They're working together to the, what we've heard previously. She has recently secluded herself in the lower depths of the prison and none of us are able to talk to her. Well, do you have any idea when her plans are to take place? I assume it's in about, and I do the math, four days from now. Am I completely off track? We don't, we don't know, Mom. I, if it's if it's what the Camarilla are planning, then perhaps their plans are in line. There's something else, though, Mom. The work that they've been having us do is gathering gathering infected plague-ridden people and bringing them back to the prison. Hmm. Interesting. Um, would I know why they would do that? Give me intelligence intelligence and a cult. Or intelligence and science. Whichever one's better. I'm gonna tell you right now. Oh, cult! I have one and a cult. So we're gonna go with a cult. Because I got nothing in science. Hmm. Let's see. Okay. Um, do I want to risk rousing the blood for this? I do <laughs> want to know. I do really fucking want to know what the hell is going on. I think I'm going to risk it. Don't forget, you could also use willpower if you That's don't true. roll well. Yeah, I'm gonna, I I succeeded my rouse, so we're All good. Right. Um, thank goodness. So that is intelligence and occult with two more dice. Well, they're not all hunger dice. <laughs> Oh my goodness! We are hot tonight. Oh, uh, that's six. Oh, Damn. Yeah. In this moment where your gang is in front of you once more and uh, all of this information is coming to light, um, the idea that Tanita is working with a Tremere, the idea that your gang members have been gathering plague-ridden folk, uh, the vision that um, Octavia had seen or uh, had had and the calling that the Camarilla planned to do, you work out that uh, Tanita plans to spread a plague. Mm. And working with a Tremere has probably managed to construct some form of transmissible plague that will act as the calling. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well. 
guess I know who to take out to make that not happen. Um, yeah. Uh, do does uh, does Amber continue, or is that all she really has to say about this? Um, it's a lot of apologizing, and you get the impression that the the folk that are here now are mm -hmm. with you. They have always been with you, and this momentary lapse in judgment has been due to imagining that you were dead. Uh, you don't including including Jean. Uh. I would like to do a little bit more of a check on on him. Uh, give me a wits. Well, give me a wits and insight specifically. Okay. I only have three dice for that, and they're all hunger dice. So, whoops. Maybe well, your beasts will help you. Um, three successes. <laughs> they they all were they were not crits, but they were all successes. Um. He also does like you. You sense that he's with you, and apologetic. Okay. Um, he just seems to be maintaining some domination on Leon at the moment. Okay, interesting. Um, I think at this point, after I gather all of the information, I will perhaps send, uh, say that the meeting is concluded, uh, tell them we are planning to infiltrate the prison. Did we plan when that was happening <laughs> at this point? We are, I'm asking we are, the other people in the area. As soon command. as possible, I think. Okay, so I think from what Anita is planning, it seems like the city of London will not benefit. And that is the city we need to survive. So I think it's best that we cut Anita's plans a bit short, as soon as possible. I shall be discussing this with the IOU. And Jerry, you'll be very excited to hear this. I think we will have a bit of a brawl on our hands in not long at all. Uh, please, the rest of you, go about as if there is nothing wrong, and when you see us in the prison, if you would like to lend a hand, I will very much appreciate it, as I kind of flex a bit more of the, the daunt their way. <laughs> <laughs> um, as the rest of them agree and sort of like they're like eyeing William, who at this point is just like starting to lose a little bit of composure. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's why I, yeah, that's a good time for me to call this then, I think. Gene uh, <laughs> walks up to you. Uh huh. M Mom, I have m managed to keep this one in our employ. Would you wish me to transfer that? I'm so happy you asked, dear Jean, because if you didn't, I was going to have to hurt you immensely. Yes, I would love that. <laughs> kind of like looks at Leon and says, return to the mistress. Uh, and his eyes sort of flash yellow a bit, and Leon just kind of like smiles a little bit and walks up and says, mm -hmm. Evelyn. Leon, how lovely to see you. I do have some lovely friends for you to meet very soon. I think you'll love them. One of them, we, we might have to discuss a bit of a name change. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Anyways, I hope you're okay with being called the lesser, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> I've met a lot of friends recently. It's nice yes, to meet more. Yes, I see more. that. And he just mm -hmm. kind of, like, his smile just gets, like, really forced. Like a little... I think you'll like this one a lot more. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, <clears throat> meanwhile, back at the IOU. Uh, the four of you have returned uh, with... Uh, Le oh. Uh, Valentina. Five of you, including Prophet. Um, Valentina has been, like, 
very, not pleasant, but very cordial and <laughs> um, nice to you for a change. Uh, and as she enters the IOU, she kind of looks around and she says, it's a little different than the last time that we've been here. Speak more about that. Mm. <laughs> well, uh, Leon, uh, you would remember it was a travesty. It's a bit more full of life. Yes. Well, kind of like no less death. That's for certain. Splitting hairs, but yes. Um, do you have a, a a room we could go to? Of course. Um, and I'll lead the group. Uh, well, Prophet will lead us to my seance room. Mm. It gets barely barely used nowadays. But <laughs> quite fun. Uh, and as you enter, um, you uh, feel that almost like padded silence uh, of the room kick in. Uh. Valentina gathers you all around the table. Now, I know that Imogen and the other members of the IOU have, have gone to the Shadowlands before, but Leon, have you ever traversed? Uh, no, that's not really the sort of place I find myself in. All right. Well, we are, we're not going to go all the way in. Um, I just need to bridge the gap a little bit so that we may converse with some of the spirits there. Um, be forewarned, Octavia, that those who died in the raid would also be there. Not just the ones that you left behind. Mm. Somehow I didn't think of that. <laughs> But I think that was a shard thing and not an Octavia <laughs> thing. <laughs> um, also, do you think there might be something that we can bring with us, whether that be energy or a state of mind? But I'm hoping that we can fuel a bit of the the spirits that we have left behind. You see, they have done me many favors, and I do. They are a priority for us to to take back with us eventually, but something to help them hold themselves over until we're able to finish what we started. Octavia, you have no reason to trust me, but I will do my best to bring them back. I will try, I will try nothing. No tricks this time. I'm going to scry the soul. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't. It's too big a risk to just trust her. You give me a, me so you many talk times. about previous trust issues? Give me a rouse check. <laughs> <sighs> That's a nine. Nice. Yeah. Yes. Into Nospecs. Okay. Listen, I've been burned before, Leon. You can't mock me for my trust issues. <laughs> Five successes. God. This exact woman we've been burned before. Uh, <laughs> even with uh, the burst of, um, not life, but power, uh, from feeding on you, this, this, this woman has endured quite a bit in the last few weeks. Uh, you can ask three questions. Wow. Okay. Well, obviously, was she telling the truth? Uh, yes. She is in this moment being as sincere as she is able to be. Okay. Um. What else do we want to know, fam? Um. I can't tell you to look at who the Tremere was because you wouldn't know any of that. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Evelyn comes bursting in right in this moment. <laughs> well, That's a trophy. <laughs> I have much to tell you. Yeah. Um, I can't ask, like, who are her closest allegiances other than her own family? Uh, that that is a question you can ask. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna use that as a question. Up until uh, two weeks ago, Albrecht was one of her closest allegiances. 
Until uh, two weeks ago. And, and what was, happened to us was three weeks ago. And, uh, uh, Tanita is one of her mm. closest contacts. What the heck? She but she didn't it. actually do. I already asked that last time I scribed her soul that she wasn't involved. She probably she, told them what but they she bet, needed yeah. to do to, like, the Ravnos shit. Or something. I will clarify. You know I mean? like, I don't know. She was connected to Albrecht, but not no, not anymore. And she, as far as her soul says, is still connected to Tanita. What did Albrecht do to piss them off? Then is my question. Sure, it's the, I'll follow up with he, that because I, I I think he must have done something. I think I thought it was the attacking me and Melinda at the art gallery. Uh, that really pissed a lot of the camera off. I think I've got my timeline off. Because I thought that happened. Imogen's right. Uh, okay. So asking that question <laughs> of her soul. Yeah. Two weeks ago, <laughs> Albrecht told the prince what Valentina and Tanita were planning. Mm. Oh, shit. So Albrecht actually wasn't originally involved yeah. and that's why Tanita was like I'm gonna kidnap him because he fucked yeah. me over oh shit oh shit but then who would have really been involved it's all just Tanita that's so but then was Tanita, was Albrecht involved in our killing were, or Valentina and Albrecht were together until two weeks ago when he told the prince so something happened that made him want to back out of the plan, basically. The calling, probably. Yeah. Mm. Shit. Um... And that's your three questions. That's it. Yeah, that's all I got. That's it. That's all. We all, yeah. Calls. Well, we got info. So as you get that, uh, yeah. Ten, uh, Valentina begins, and you can feel the energy in the room just dim. Uh, your connection to the physical realm becomes tenuous and static. As uh, it's happening, I'll just quickly uh, touch Leon's arm and say, just stay near me, my dear. You'll be quite all right. A shining star in the shadows. Your kind words are far more than I deserve. Thank you. <laughs> and Leon, as you look over at Octavia, you see Prophet at her side, uh, black tendrils begin whipping out of his back and just f flicking uh, rapidly as clouds of dark appear around the room. Uh, you begin to hear cries out in the distance. Um, calls of fear and anger. Um, you hear this light sound of what appears to be sword play there's the ching 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 out in the distance and you hear the get her we can outnumber her the cyclops she's not here the dog we didn't think about the damn dog and you hear Octavia Octavia you've come for us at last And they go quiet. And Valentina <sighs> strains a bit. Ask of them what you wish. I have them at bay. Well, at this point, please follow us. Come back to the IOU where you belong. We can finish our conversation there. It isn't safe here. But you left us. We helped you and you left us. And then more came. I am here now. We are all here for you. Do not go with her. She is a liar and she is a monster. They're all monsters. We did our best to kill, call them from this world, but we were lied to. This was a death trap. I have always had your best interests in my heart. Whether it's beating or not does not mean I'm a monster. They don't speak for us, Octavia. They are just louder than us. Um, at, 
this moment, give me a charisma and persuasion. Uh, Can this any... use convince crowd? Yes. If anybody else <laughs> uh, wishes to assist as well, hell yeah, uh, they may do so. Uh, Was just it tell... charisma and persuasion? Just tell that's me like what you said. Everything Imogen is. <laughs> that's I mean, all it's, my things. That's Leon as well. <laughs> and Leon, yeah, this is perfect. I was just quietly for like, this. yep. This is... Pick the right people to go in. Got a right room for this. Yeah. Um. You I got two containers to back off. Nice. <laughs> um. Do I get a friendly face? Uh, they can't really see your face at the moment. God damn it. <laughs> Do I get sanctity? Uh, you know what? Yeah. That's a that's a halo effect. Yeah. <laughs> uh, as these clouds are flickering, this like kind of lit halo forms around Imogen's head. Ooh. Ah! Uh, Leon, I'll start with you. Uh, in this moment where these shadows are forming around you and you can hear the faint voices of the spirits. Uh, you know Octavia's intentions, and what do you do to assist in the moment? Now, now, my uh, spirits of... Well, the spirits of this plane. I may not be fully cognizant of everything that happened here, but I can assure you that uh, the personhood of my dear friend Octavia is true. I stake my entire artistic career and my word as Leon Cavallo on that fact. Mm, he speaks lies. No, he speaks the truth. He was not one of them. I can't... I don't know how to tell if they're one of the monsters. He can't be. He speaks too clearly. They're all ravenous. They drool at the mouth and they feed on the blood. No. No. No, they are friends to us. They've always been friends to us. <sighs> Imogen, what do you um, say? I got four, four successes, and two of them were ten, so is that six? Uh, Did you do that math right? Yes. You got it. Yeah. Uh, I say, um, well, now then, you... Uh, Octavia would never hurt a soul. I wouldn't hurt a soul, and I would never tell a lie either. Is this an angel mm. come to claim us? We've been in the darkness for so long. Perhaps we should go with them. No. It is alive once more. They've constructed some elaborate ruse to, to take us, but her soul is too... She's too close to pure. Hmm. Perhaps, perhaps there's no harm in going with them for now. That's right, you can always leave if you like. And we will leave those behind who cling to us. You will stay, you foul spirits. We will go with you. We will return. Please, take us with you. Uh, and you feel faint auras around you in the room. Uh, and those voices of hostility are pushed aside. And I take out my trusty Ghostbuster. And Yay. I'm sucking up those souls, <laughs> baby! <laughs> uh, and as you bring them one by one, uh, you hear faint whispers. We did our best, but there are too many. Uh, as they get sucked in. And another walks up to you and says, Octavia, your, your hound it is, it is powerful in our realm. And it's sucked up. Uh, and another one uh, comes in and stands behind you for a moment, Octavia, and says, We know where there is proof. We know what you seek. Clear this... 
clear the other realm of that hideous spirit. And we will lead you to a way. A way to prove our kind's innocent. Uh, and you suck that one up. Uh, and as those spirit, as those figures around you are pulled in, uh, Valentina <sighs> releases the tether between the two realms. And you feel yourself release from that chill and that darkness as you are once more in the flesh world. Thank you. All of you. That couldn't have been done on my own. I uh, underestimated your companions. You have the habit of doing that to me. <laughs> yes, and it is. <laughs> it has proven a fault in the past. It kind of looks off in the distance. <laughs> I, I give her a pointed look of there's something I absolutely want to say. But I don't want to blow her spot up right now in front of everyone. Uh, one sec. Um, she kind of like looks at you for a moment and kind of gives you that like lifts her chin up and kind of like closes her eyes and bows just a little bit to you. Um, and says, oh, "Anyways, um, Octavia, I believe that um." I believe our boon is done. Whatever harpy is around nowadays, please inform them. Most certainly. And I'm gonna try and uh, stealthily slice my finger on my hand, and I'm gonna try and shake your hand. Give me a dex and stealth. Oh, you might want to rouse. This <laughs> yeah, I don't know if this is Octavia's jam. Uh, I don't know I have, about that one. I have four dice. Um, sure, I'll rouse. You could have six. Yeah, <laughs> and I got another one. Worth it. Wow. Yay, hell right yeah. Now. Okay, let's see. Like I'm I'll also like I'll spend willpower for this. I'm gonna. Oh, yeah, this seems important. Do it. I'm spending a willpower. Yeah. Okay, all successes, so six. Yeah! Successes. Wow. Hell yeah. Uh, it was worth it. You casually slice your finger and reach out your hand um, in such a way that as she reaches forward uh, and guides you to hers, um, she doesn't seem to notice. Uh, and you can feel the faint slickness between uh, your two fingers. Uh, and she pulls away. I would say, um, call me anytime you need anything, but our boon is satisfied, and I feel like resting with my clan may do me better care. Agreed, of course. Thank you so much. We'll be in touch, I'm sure. Of course. Leon, Imogen, as always. Well, if I could see you uh, on the way out, I'd love the opportunity. Of course. Uh, and sort of like reaches out her arm uh, f for you to grab. I absolutely will take it. Uh, and uh, she goes towards the door uh, and walks out. And um, the shift in temperature, the, it's been getting a bit more warm now. Um, you can't feel it, but there's that always like lingering like humidity in the air that uh, even against your skin you can feel. And she looks over. Um, do you wanted to speak? Yes, 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 yes. I, I had a slight of conversation with Angelo as I did get this very lovely jacket. Honestly, the coat is incredible. Uh, mm. All out on style. Fits you quite well. <laughs> Flattery will get you everywhere. But... I did want to have a conversation about uh, sort of the hunger afflicting your clan. Yes. 
Um, it is quite dreadful. Uh, and it's honestly not the first time that our clan has been faced with such a punishment, but it is no less tumultuous. Is it the first time that you were the reason of it? I don't know what you are implying. What has my husband told you? You're ambitious. And let me make that clear. I do respect ambition. I have multiple estates for a reason. But ambition should not come at the cost of the people you care for. Do you plan on using this information that my husband has given you for your gain in any way? To be quite honest, no. All I want... It, I don't know if you saw the absolute desperation in that man's eyes as he looked at me, but that was the desperation of someone who wants the love of his life to survive her ambitions. I get it. I truly understand that desire for more. I respect it so, so much. But consider what you may lose. Consider the amount of people you lose. Consider the severity of your losses. I can handle mostly doing things myself, but I do enjoy the people I have around me, and losing them would gut me. I can't imagine that for an entire clan that I am responsible for. I appreciate it. I do. And despite my better judgment, I will believe you. I'm only as good as my word. It is rare to find a fellow kindred who does not use any information they get for their gain. I will... I will take this into consideration. The Giovannis are an old clan, and this is not the first time we have faced hardship, but as the matriarch, it is my duty to propel us into the future. And if that future, well, if that future is a little less ambitious, perhaps that is the way of the future. Thank you, Lee. Of course. I suggest cutting any, let's say, toxic relationships out of your life. It might do you some good. Infectious. And it'll make our lives a little easier. Yes. Well, best of luck with the coming nights. I do hope that plans do not come to fruition. They won't. Good. Take care. Uh, and she begins to walk. Now, you may have to, you may be able to tell that it is getting a bit late, uh, and I think that what is going to happen? Y'all have a plan. Mm-hmm. Y'all have information. Mm-hmm. I am going to give you the week until Ooh. next we meet. To come up with Spicy. as uh, much hi-ski. as much of a plan of action as you possibly can, <laughs> and next week we will enact whatever it is that you plan on doing. I, uh, Kelly. Yes. Uh, before we go, um, like when Evelyn is like dismissing her group and everyone leaves or whatever. Um, I can't like Jerry kind of like state like is separated away from them and like goes to find his own corner and he's like he's he's fuming but it's not because he got like his ass kicked in front of everybody. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, it's fine. Uh, he he's just he's mad at like at the dynamic of Evelyn of like witnessing the dynamic of Evelyn and her gang and he's just sitting there trying to remember anything any like little hint about um his maker mm. give me a 
willpower roll. Whatever willpower you have left, roll that many dice. Cool. How am I? Okay, yeah, that's still not great. Um, oh, no. <laughs> One success. Uh, as you sit here ruminating, you watch uh, Evelyn's gang go off into the sewer. You watch the transfer of Leon the Lesser. Uh, back to Evelyn uh, as Jean politely bows and walks off. Uh, you hear the like <laughs> skittering and cracking and harsh breaths of William off in the corner. And you draw on that moment that you were embraced. It isn't clear and all you've ever been able to get into the pa- in the past is that that feeling and the memory of the last fight. Um, but as you sit there in the sewers, you sort of have like a flash, uh, and still in the sewers, you are surrounded by bodies, um, military clad bodies. And in front of you, you see a shadowy figure, a silhouette of what you imagined to be your sire. You remember the moment of walking into that tent and seeing those men just worshipping this woman. And you try to draw any image of her, but you're distracted by the bodies. Uh, And you try to pull yourself back. And as you do, you look up. The bodies are gone, and the silhouette has been Evelyn the whole time. Hmm. Something bothering you? No, just peachy. Right, we, need to, we need to get you a fight, don't we? Well, yeah. Let's regroup with the others and plan our attack. Ah, right, sounds like a good one. And yeah. with that, mm. we will end for the night. Indeed. <laughs> Indeed. Hold on, everybody. Ah! <laughs> so much even. tension. So much is happening. We've, like, two episodes in a row had so much like learning. Uh, <laughs> like D and D last night was also like a lot of a information. Lot of things. <laughs> the lore. The lore. Yeah. That means that, I mean, the, the, love it. It's also you. You told us the next episode is also going to be a more, big battle, and yeah. this next episode of Vampire, hey? A big battle. Ooh, we're boys. so insane. Oh my god, we're so insane. <laughs> like a play band. E. I am ready for a big battle. I hope you are, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. Your viewership means the world to us, and we hope you enjoyed spending time with us and our shenanigans tonight. Uh, If you enjoyed yourselves enough and you want to show your support, the best way to do so is by heading on over to patreon.com forward slash tabletop titties. When you become a patron, you get access to a multitude of behind the scenes snippets, polls that affect our games, bonus episodes, and more. We also have a merch store. Uh, if you saw the show tonight and you were like, you know what, those characters are super rad, I want that Belgium Dairy t-shirt that Casper has on because it's super sick, uh, <laughs> you should totally buy it because we sell it on tabletoptitties.threadless.com. It's super cool. We have lots ah. of other stuff. We get like, like notebooks, you can get mugs, all that cool stuff. We also have a pride collection. All profit from this collection goes to support community a nonprofit organization based in Vancouver, BC, that works to improve queer, trans, and two-spirit lives. They provide a safer space for LGBTQ2SA plus people and their allies to fully self-express while feeling welcome and included. Definitely go and shop that pride collection. Speaking of supporting these ditties, our Indiegogo shout out for this week goes to Miranda Blank, Thank you so very, very much for supporting our season three Indiegogo and helping us get this show off the ground this season. We literally could not do it without you. Last but not least, no, last but 
literally not least because I have one more thing. <laughs> reminder <laughs> to go and enter the giveaway on the social medias for Inspire to Creates because it's going to be super cool and you can win cool stuff. Uh, and you can do that over on our social medias, which is the last but not least. Go follow us at Tabletop Titties. And if you tweet using hashtag TT Titties, you can get an NPC named after you. You can find all of this info over on our website at tabletoptitties.com. And remember, when we say titties, it is with double Ds. And we will see you next week, baby. Yeah. yeah. Stick around. We're gonna yeah. we're gonna raid uh once guest of the not podcast, stream Podgy. Uh so yeah. show, show oh, yeah. some love. Right? Bye. Bye. Bye.